What we've got here is an Epiphone slash Victoria standard gold top. It has mahogany body with a carved hard maple cap. It's got a laurel fingerboard with a 12 inch radius, 22 medium jumbo frets. It's got a graph tech nut. It also has a slash custom C-shaped neck profile. Also a slash autograph on the truss rod cover and on the back you get Slash's little top hat logo. It's got Epiphone Vintage Deluxe Tuners, two custom slash approved Alnico 2 Pro Buckers, CTS pots with orange drop capacitors, and it comes with a nice custom hard shell case. Let's talk guitars. Today I'll be using my Katana Artist Mach 2 head and cabinet for the sound demo. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Effects Loop. I am your host, Jay Byrne. Today we're talking about yet another guitar. Um, I had an unboxing video already, so I've already shown this guitar off, but I wanted to get a little more in the weeds and a little more in detail about this guitar in this video because I know there seems to be a lot of opinions regarding these particular Epiphone Slash guitars. And let's face it, I mean, Gibson and Epiphone have a new Slash model every freaking year. So, yeah, it gets a little bit tough to decipher which ones are the best ones. <laughs> Originally, I wanted to get the Appetite Burst, but that one was out of stock at Sweetwater and I was just impatient and I didn't feel like waiting. Plus, I wasn't really sure whether I liked that particular top because that top is a veneer, all right? It, um, if you're not familiar with what, a, what an actual veneer is, when um, Epiphone and, and different companies make cheaper guitars, what they'll do is they'll put a very thin layer of uh, a wood veneer on top so they can pick like a good-looking top and then they just put that over so it's like like a fake top basically so that it look but it looks nice I mean it's not fake because it's still wood but it's not like you've got the mahogany body and that's the actual grain from the mahogany body you're seeing the veneer okay what I like about this gold top is there is no veneer there's a hard maple cap and it's gold painted. There's no veneer on this one. What I think is kind of cool, actually, and I did a bit of research to figure this out, is this back right here, that is not a veneer. That is a solid mahogany back, which the wood is really nice looking on the back of this body. So this does have, this is mahogany, and this back is not a veneer. Um, I, I don't know, there might be people out there saying that it is, but I've researched it and it is definitely, definitely not a veneer. It's not super heavy. I, I picked that myself. I think that's around um, eight pounds. Just, no, it's, no, it's in seven. It's, it, was, it was seven something, I think. Seven pounds, like 16 ounces or something like that. It's not the heaviest thing I've ever uh, worn. I mean, I think they are chambered a little bit to help with the weight inside. I've heard that, I mean, there's no way to really know unless you're opening them up and Epiphone doesn't really put that information out there. <laughs>
major thing with this particular guitar that I know a lot of people are talk about basically is that everybody wants to change the pickups okay now these pickups in this guitar they are slash slash designed um alnico 2 pro buckers okay custom pro buckers these aren't the standard pro buckers that you get in every other epiphone i want to make that very clear because i think that piece of information is a little bit lost in a lot of the videos that i watched regarding this guitar and um these pickups according to epiphone there was actually an article that i read um that went into very good detail about what the uh, what Epiphone actually did. Apparently, they took the specs of Slash's signature pickups because the earlier versions of these, a couple years back, had Slash's signature pickups in them. Okay, they were the uh, Seymour Duncan's. But instead, what Gibson and Epiphone have Gibson as a company has done now is they took those pickups, those slash pickups, basically like, you know, figured out what they were and they took them and they made them themselves. They took the burst buckers for the Gibson versions and they designed the burst buckers to sound like the slash pickups. For Epiphone, they took the pro buckers and they redesigned the pro buckers to sound like Slash's pickups. According to the article that I read, basically, <laughs> These are the Slash pickups. They are so close, like in spec, in design, in everything, they're very, very close. So for all intents and purposes, these should sound almost identical to the Slash Seymour Duncans. <laughs> tell you I watched a lot of videos online when I was trying to decide about what guitar to get because originally I was thinking about getting the uh, the 59 reissue but I'm not a fan of the satiny finish I actually like the more gloss finish and I don't have a problem with poly so I so, saw while I was researching guitars and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to get for a Les Paul because as any of you who watch my channel know I did have a uh, custom a Les Paul custom a white and black custom that I just wasn't getting along with. I, I never really, it, it was beautiful. Uh, the Epiphone Customs, Les Paul Customs are awesome and they're great guitars if that's what you're looking for. But a Les Paul Custom sounds a little different than a standard. It has a different vibe to it and a different sound to it. I don't really know how to describe it, but they do sound different. Um, and I just wasn't jibing with it. And I gotta tell you, man, this guitar, I've played a few actual Les Pauls. I mean, I don't, I've never owned any, but I've messed around with a few. And this guitar with the neck, with Slash's uh, actual neck design, feels the most like a real Les Paul than any Epiphone I've ever played. I mean, this thing feels like a real Les Paul when you play it. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it other than that. If you know the difference, you know the difference. And if you don't know the difference, it doesn't matter anyway. But this guitar really feels like a like like an actual Les Paul. And I think the weight and the mahogany and just the look of it, it just it adds to this like vibe that it's an actual Les Paul you're playing, and it sounds amazing. <laughs>
The tuners are great. Um, the neck is awesome. I will say, and I'm going to be 100% honest about this, when I got that, there was quite a bit of fret sprout. The neck was, it was sharp. Um, the fret work itself is perfect. Like, I don't have, I, I don't, seemingly don't have any high frets. I mean, for me, I, I don't play with super, super low action. I play with kind of medium standard action. And at the action that I play at, which is generally like, it's 564s on the top, 464s on the bottom. I didn't have any problems. There's no buzzing frets. There's no issues as far as any of that stuff is concerned. But the fret ends were kind of sharp. And I had to do some work on it, which took me a little while, but I finally got it nice and comfortable. Like now that I kind of got used to doing, taking care of the fret ends and stuff like that. It was something new for me. Like I never, and I didn't want to wreck my guitars because, you know, and I didn't want to damage the finish and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> is based off of a gold top that Slash had. His had a darker back, had a black back. However, this back is a standard gold top. This is uh, around, I think it was a 58 um, gold top that Slash had. And it, he lost it, it got stolen. And he had, and Gibson made him some replacements for it. But you can see like when he plays live during the Use Your Illusions Hour, he used to use this to play Sweet Child of Mine a lot. Um, so this is based after one of Slash's actual guitars. This isn't just some random one that he picked out. He, Slash has this, and his has a dark back. It's like a dark, darker back. But like I said, this is the standard look for a gold top, with a, ex a except for the pickup. But this back, this lighter wood back, is like a standard back for gold top. Um, it, of course, it comes with all the typical Epiphone stuff, like the tuners and the uh, the lock tone stop bar. I haven't had any problems with this pulling out of the body as of yet. Um, these posts, I always have problems with these Epiphone posts coming out after a while, but that is a, an easy fix. Um, I mean, everything was pretty flawless about this guitar right from the get-go, except for the fact that I did have to smooth out the fret ends, which are fine now. But yeah. I'm finally happy. I finally got a Les Paul back <laughs> and I'm happy with this Les Paul. This Les Paul ain't going anywhere. I initially wanted to change the pickups like everybody else, but I, I just like the way this guitar sounds, the way it is stock right from the factory. And I think they're very well made. And right now they, they're kind of a limited time sale. It says limited time for news for how to, they're 800 bucks. So for 800 bucks, you get an Epiphone Les Paul with special design pickups and a case. It comes with little strap locks inside the case. But um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So I don't know, if, if you're in the market for something like this, this is a cool guitar. If you love Slash like I do, this is an awesome guitar. So if you like this kind of stuff, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I'm always interested in what people have to say and whenever I can, I will respond to the comments. Um, each week, I do either an effects loop video or an SF, SFX loop video. So if this week is the effects loop, next week will be the SFX loop. Um, just want to let everybody know I appreciate the fact that you keep coming back to watch my videos and there will be more going forward. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like this guitar. Maybe I helped you figure something out if you were trying to come up with an idea. Maybe you wanted to buy one and you weren't really sure. So that's what this is all about. All right, well, take care. I'm Jay Byrne, and this is the Effects Loop. See you next time.